when Audi STT first came out, in 1999, it was a beautifully designed alternative to the Volkswagen GTI with which it shared much of its mechanicals. If you liked the idea of driving a GTI but couldn't stand that it looked like the most common three-box car in world history, the TD providing the solution with its Bauhaus-like design. Audi has continually improved the TT sense, achieving performance enhancements over the GTI that are nearly as great as its visual advantages. As evidence, behold this latest TT RS, the reworked top-of-the-line model, based on the third-generation TT introduced in 2014. Distinguished by its aggressive front fascia and powered by a thoroughly revamped version of the 2.5-liter inline 5-cylinder engine, the new model promises to scoot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3.5 seconds a heavy figure indeed for a car often dismissed as all style and no substance. 5 Alive the major mechanical change from the last gen TT RS is a reworked engine, with an aluminum block, a lighter crankshaft, an aluminum oil pump, a magnesium upper sum, and a number of other measures that slice some 57 pounds from the engine's weight. That is particularly significant because the engine is entirely forward of the front wheel center line. The engine also gets a revised cylinder head, Audi S variable valve lift and duration system on the exhaust camshaft, it switches between cam lobes like Honda's tech system, although with a different mechanism, the addition of port fuel injection to the existing direct injection setup, and boost pressure bump from 18.1 to 19.6 pounds per square inch. Those changes increase output from 360 to 400 horsepower and to work from 343 to 354 pounds to foot fuel economy is said to improve slightly, although EPA figures are not yet available. Within the TT model lineup, this engine gives the TT RS 108 more ponies than the TTS and 180 more than the Bass TT. This hefty output flows through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which Audi calls Astronic. From there it goes to the front differential, as well as to a drive shaft and a hydraulic clutch pack just forward of the rear differential. That clutch pack is computer-controlled to divert power to the rear wheels based on traction conditions and the drive mode selected. In normal driving, roughly 80% of the powertrain's output goes to the front wheels. But when you start hustling, the system sends more power rearward and even applies the brakes selectively to overdrive the outside wheels, which promotes more agile turn-in. The RS uses the strut fronter and multi-link rear suspension geometry of the standard TT, but with firmer shocks and springs and a 0.4-inch lower ride height. Magnet archaeological shocks likely will be standard on US cars, but a dynamic plus suspension with even stiffer springs and tighter, non-adjustable shocks will be offered as an option for the hardcore. The standard tires are 245-35-19 high-performance summer tires on 9-inch wide wheels, while 255-30-20s will be optional. Those are the same combinations offered on the TTS, as the RS uses the same fenders and has no space for larger rubber. The TTRS does, however, come with larger front brakes 14.6x1.3 inch front rotors with lightweight aluminum hat sections clamped by 8 piston calipers, and 12.2x0.9 inch rotors with single piston sliding calipers in the rear. Those front brakes are not only 1.3 inches larger than the ones on the TTS, they re also bigger than the front brakes on a Porsche 911 Cutter S and if you want even more braking, carbon ceramic rotors are an option for the front wheels. RS Visuals As mentioned earlier, the RS cars are instantly identifiable thanks to a new front fascia with larger air intakes in the lower corners an egg crate grille, and a more pronounced lower spoiler. In the rear, the RS has larger exhaust pipes, a prominent diffuser, and a fixed rear wing. Inside, this most potent TT comes standard with RS sport seats with a plethora of available adjustments, as well as diamond pattern upholstery with contrasting stitching that is convincingly luxurious. The dashboard, console lid, and armrests also can be swathed in stitched leather as part of an option package. For the most part, 
The TTRS shares the lovely interior of the standard TT, with the climate controls cleverly integrated in the vent registers and the 12.3-inch high-definition screen that serves as a highly configurable instrument cluster. One addition is a special RS screen that lets you display engine power and torque outputs, lateral and longitudinal acceleration, and the four individual tires pressures and temperatures. When you select the screen with the large tachometer in the middle, the dial changes color as the digitized needle climbs, culminating in a flashing red dial as engine revs approach the red line. It tests not only amusing, but you can see this upshift reminder in your peripheral vision even when you refocus on the road. Sound and Fury The RS comes with launch control to help achieve that mid 3 seconds 0 to 60 mile per hour time, and the car sounds saucy at full throttle with a raspy, syncopated 5 cylinder exhaust note that is particularly stirring at red line shifts. The standard exhaust system contains active the valves to keep the volume low at cruising speeds while revealing the full soundtrack at high revs. An optional sport exhaust has a similar two-step nature but with the volume turned up a few notches. We had a few laps on Spanish Jarama circuit, the one-time home of the Spanish Grand Prix, and the RS felt capable and secure on the track. With some 59% of the curb weight on the car's front tires, its tail never threatened to step out, although you could provoke some rotation by trail braking or suddenly lifting in mid-corner. But even after only three laps, the temperature of the front tires had risen nearly 50 degrees higher than the rears. Despite that clear indication about which end of the car was working harder, Audi's long experience with Quattro power distribution prevents any major understeer. But you still can t dance with the RS at the limit the way you can with a good rear drive car. The 400 ponies are sufficient to make the RS truly rock it down the straights and yank it hard out of the corners. The dual clutch transmission can be shifted manually via either the lever or the paddle shifters, and the gear selections were quick and crisp. On the smooth Spanish highways and back roads, the standard suspension with the magnetic shocks is well controlled and comfortable, while the Dynamic Plus suspension feels firmer and somewhat jiggly on even slightly rough pavement. Road noise is prominent on certain surfaces which is not surprising, since all the cars on hand are fitted with the 20-inch wheels and tires. Brake feel is great, with a firm pedal that is easy to modulate. However, while the steering effort selections and on this are always clearly distinguishable, usually only one feels linear and natural. In the RS, that s the comfort setting, as there is a clear two-step feel and dynamic. Audi also offers an auto mode, which was described as somewhat between the two others, as well as an individual setting, in which the driver can mix and match preferred settings for steering effort, powertrain response, exhaust sound, suspension setting, and quattro performance, which basically shifts the base front to rear power distribution toward the rear as driving becomes more vigorous. Overall, the TTRS presents an appealing package that defies easy comparison. When it goes on sale in the early summer of 2017 likely as a 2018 model it has expected to have a base price around $60,000. We can t think of another car that can match its below 100 mile per hour acceleration at anything close to that price. You can legitimately compare its performance to cars ranging from a Porsche 718 Cayman S2 or BMW M2 to a Chevrolet Corvette. Yes, the RS is perhaps too benign for maximum cornering amusement and its rear seat is barely suitable for small children, but it does have all-wheel drive for year-round use even in wintry climbs. And it has enough electronic trickery to amuse even avid infotainment fangboys. That combination makes it an automotive decathlete with great appeal for those who want a supremely capable daily driver, e-driver.